With so much of our planet's ocean still unexplored, it's easy to let your imagination run wild and wonder what really lurks in Earth's deep waters. But the greatest horrors at all don't even need to be imagined. Nope, they really exist, and they are out there, just waiting for you to dip your toe in. That's right, monsters are real, and most of them are living in the ocean. Don't say we didn't warn you, from the gruesome sea worm with razor sharp fangs, to the blood sucking creature with a tongue that can pierce through scales. These are the 20 most terrifying monsters found in the deep sea. <laughs> Bobbit Worm They might sound harmless, but bobbit worms have a sinister secret. These weird, wobbly creatures actually possess a mouth full of sharp teeth that they use to devour their prey. In fact, they are famous for having such a powerful bite that they can actually split a fish in two with one chomp, growing up to 10 feet long and covered in nerve-damaging bristles. This is the ultimate ocean predator. It also has a very sneaky hunting technique that makes it almost impossible to avoid the death grips of a giant bobbit worm. Bobbit worms live hundreds of feet underwater, in warm regions like the Indo-Pacific Ocean. Remind us never to go diving there. This carnivorous worm will bury itself in the sand and wait for their victim to swim by, pouncing on them with incredible speed. That's right, if a bobbit worm has set its sight on you for supper, you won't even see it coming. Consider us officially terrified. We hope we never see one of these creepy creatures. Then again, it could just be hiding. This is why the ocean is a scary place. If you ever have swam in the sea before, then you'll know that one of the greatest terrors is not knowing what lurks beneath. And in this case, a mysterious photograph appears to have been snapped deep below the surface of the waves. This blurry image may be too fuzzy to identify, but we can't help but worry that it looks slightly humanoid, and possibly even siren-esque? Yes, sailors have long spoken of terrifying beasts that look human and lure men to their deaths with a hypnotizing siren song. But could this be the first ever photo evidence of their existence? Let us know what you think using the hashtag OpenDiscussion in the comment section below. Angler Fish. This freaky fish may be a rare sight, but if you ever find yourself deep under the water, you better watch your back. Living in a state of permanent darkness 3,000 feet below the ocean's surface, the sneaky anglerfish has an evil way of luring in its prey. Reaching up to 3 feet in length, the female of the species has a dorsal spine that hangs over their head, resembling an innocent fishing pole, complete with a glowing bait that proves irresistible to smaller fish. Hypnotized by this bioluminescent light, their prey will swim close enough to the angler fish to see its sinister, razor-sharp fangs. But by the time they realize their fatal mistake, it's already too late. The deadly angler fish has such a gigantic mouth that it can swallow prey double its size, chomping them down with creepy translucent teeth that are virtually undetectable in the pitch-black darkness. Don't go into the light. Yes, they may look like something out of a horror movie, but unfortunately, the anglerfish fish is 100% real. Now we see why people are scared of the dark. Spiny King Crab The next sea creature is basically marine royalty. We are of course talking about this spiny king crab. As spines cover the tops of their bodies, spiny king crabs are also called porcupine crabs. These spines not only distinguish them from other species of crab, but work as a suit of armor as protection from potential predators. They have three pairs of legs each, along with a set of larger claws they use for hunting. A fourth smaller pair of legs is located underneath each spiny king crab's body, and is used exclusively to clean the gills. As you may have guessed, these creepy crustaceans are carnivorous. They prefer to hunt live prey, but will settle for the dead carcasses of other sea creatures when necessary. They'll even eat other crabs, but prefer to snack on sea stars and small fish. They hunt using their large right claw, and then their mouths to rip their prey apart. Kinda gruesome if you ask us. The king crab is one of the most enormous crab species known to man. It can weigh more than 11 pounds, which is heavier than a house cat, and have a total leg span of over 5 feet, which means that it can be as long as a human is tall. Basically, you wouldn't want to get in a fight with one of these man-sized crabs. Consider yourself officially warned. Callianimus Lyra 
Meet the common dragonet, a weird sea creature known as the Callionymus lyra. It is widely distributed in the eastern North Atlantic, where it is common near Europe for Norway and Iceland southwards. The common dragonet has a broad, triangular, flattened head with a long snout and protruding lower jaw, and the body is also flattened, although the tail is rounded. Pretty weird, right? This thing is like an underwater alien. The eyes are placed on the top of the head and the gills are also on the upper part of the body. The preopercular bone is strongly hooked and has four robust spines, the front facing forwards and the other three face rearwards. It spends most of its time on the seabed partially buried in sand or shell gravel. When it is buried in the sand, only the head and eyes will pop out and the dragonet may launch itself quickly out of the seabed to feed. Surprise, they are opportunistic feeders which will prey on whatever species they can get their chompers around. It feeds mostly on small invertebrates such as worms and crustaceans. And they are also capable of producing and secreting foul tasting and smelling substances that may ward off any potential predators. Some regions even call them the stinkfish for this very reason. Yuck. Males and females are colored and patterned very differently from each other, with the male tending to be larger in size than the female. Male dragonets form dominance hierarchies and act extremely aggressively toward each other within their territories. They are often observed chasing and biting each other, trying to assert who's boss. Come on guys, can't you just get along? Sea pigs. Turns out sea pigs are nothing like the pigs you see on land. The sea pigs may get its name from its pink colored body and love of the muddy seafloor, but it's actually a type of sea cucumber. This bizarre but cute animal has enlarged tube feet that have taken on a leg-like appearance, using water cavities within the skin to inflate and deflate, thereby causing the appendages to move. It shuffles through the muddy sediments on the seafloor, eating bits of dead algae and animals that have fallen from the surface. Huge herds of sea pigs can often be seen gathering at carcasses of fallen whales to feast, sometimes as many as 600 of them. Now that's what we call a dinner party. As well as adorable scavengers, scientists also reckon that they might be babysitters for other species. Researchers at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute have seen baby lithodid crabs climbing on or hiding under sea pigs, possibly as a way for the young crabs to protect themselves from predators. They even have their own defense mechanism. Their skin contains a toxic chemical called holothurin, which is poisonous to other creatures. But if you wanted to catch a glimpse of these quirky creatures, you might have to get yourself a submarine. They live on deep ocean floors, specifically on the abysmal plain in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, typically at a depth of over 3,900 to 16,400 feet. Fangtooth. This fish looks exactly how it sounds. It's all about the fangs. They can be found at depths anywhere from 6 feet to 15,000 feet. The fangtooth is a small fish with a laterally compressed body. Despite their small size, fangtooths have large heads and disproportionately long sharp teeth. Two sockets have developed on the sides of their brains to make room for their teeth when their jaws close. These gigantic teeth enable the fangtooth to kill fish much larger than itself. Their bodies are covered with prickly scales and spines. To find prey, fangtooths have lateral lines along each side of their bodies, which are important for detecting changes in the temperature and movements of potential prey. They also rely on contact chemoreception, where they find prey by bumping into them. And we definitely would not want to bump into this freaky fish. Fangtooths actually possess the largest teeth, proportionate to body size, of any extant fish species in the world. They are so big that the species is apparently not ever able to completely close its mouth. Yes, if we were fish and we saw the fangtooth coming our way, we'd be swimming as fast as we could in the opposite direction. Dumbo octopus. Next up, it's the cute sounding cephalopod with a dark secret. Octopi are bizarre looking at the best of times. But this has to be one of the most unusual octopi to ever exist. The Dumbo octopus has a soft jelly-like consistency that helps it to survive in its high-pressure habitat, and they use their huge ears to help them to swim through the dark, crushing ocean. Named after their oversized ears that help them move through the water, the Dumbo octopus lives up to 23,000 feet under the ocean. Yep, when something lives that deep in the sea, you just know they're going to share a few alien qualities. 
After all, 80% of our oceans are still totally unexplored. Sure, they may have been named after a cute Disney character, but don't let looks deceive you. Like many other shadowy creatures that live 20,000 feet deep below the waves, this octopus is a deadly killer, swallowing its prey whole with one huge gulp. This is one creature that's definitely more dangerous than it looks. Red-toothed tigerfish. Next up, it's the unusual red-toothed tigerfish. Tigerfish obtain their name from the locking mechanism used to hold the dorsal spine in place. The main dorsal spine is kept erect by a second spine which locks the dorsal spine in place. Only when this trigger spine is moved can the main spine be lowered. The spine is a clever defense mechanism, as it makes it difficult for a larger predator to swallow them. The spine is also used to lock the fish into crevices or small places, making it difficult for predators to hunt them. When a diver approaches too close, they quickly slip into holes in the reef. Tigerfish are adept at sliding into small thin crevices, and their dorsal spines are then erected to lock them into place. They have a small upturned mouth with peculiar looking red teeth. These brightly colored teeth continue growing with age and are constantly worn down in their natural habitat. The red-toothed tigerfish is colored blue to purplish with a light blue head. They have the ability to change their color depending on their mood, food, feeding, and water quality from purple to blue and to bluish green. It is found on coral reefs in the Indo-Pacific. However, if you do happen to be diving and see a red-toothed tigerfish, you might want to swim away. This peculiar fish can become threatening with age and will warn their enemies away with a fierce grunting type sound. Okay, okay, we get the message. Lamprey. This creature really sucks. No, we mean literally. The parasitic sea lamprey is one creepy looking animal, and its dark round mouth filled with rows and rows of razor sharp fangs is definitely enough to give you nightmares. This tiny sea vampire will use its fantastic sense of smell to hunt fish and even sharks. In its quest for fresh food, the sea lamprey has even decimated whole fish populations in lakes due to its bloodthirsty and parasitic personality. While you might think that this sea lamprey resembles an eel, it actually has more in common with sharks due to the cartilage in its long slender body. Another shared passion between the lamprey and the shark is that this slithery sea creature loves the taste of blood. The sea lamprey latches onto its prey and sucks away at the flesh, wounding the animal but not killing it completely. It uses its rough little tongue like a weapon, dinging through its victim's scales and skin in order to reach their insides. Okay, well that's totally horrifying. This invasive species can grow between 1 and 2 feet and reach a weight of up to 13 pounds, fattening itself up on the sweet, sweet taste of fish blood. We know what you're thinking, the lamprey is extremely gross, and guess what? We totally agree. Vampire Squid Next up, it's the marine species so spooky that they named it after a mythical beast. This scary squid lives 2,000 to 3,000 feet under the ocean, in complete darkness, and so it's covered in photophores. These are neat light producing organs that help the squid to survive in its pitch black habitat. They can even squirt light straight out of their tentacles when threatened, creating an awesome light show that dazzles their enemy. The vampire squid's official name is Vampiro Teuthis infernalis, which literally translates from Latin to English as Vampire Squid from Hell. Wow, that's really quite a title. However, this small squid doesn't quite live up to its diabolical name. No, the vampire squid doesn't suck blood, and in fact, it doesn't even have teeth. It got its loathsome name when marine biologists first discovered the extraordinary creature back in the late 1800s on a deep sea diving expedition. One crew member, Carl Chun, saw its red eyes and cape-like webbing on its tentacles and dubbed it the Vampire Squid. And the rest is history. Yet these ancient sea creatures are as old as the dinosaurs and as legendary as vampires and can survive where most animals cannot. They live in the Oxygen Minimum Zone, or OMZ, where there are very low concentrations of oxygen and immense levels of pressure, making it very difficult for researchers to venture down and learn more about this supernatural squid. We thought that vampires in movies were scary, but these guys are the real deal. Stargazer This fish will officially ruin swimming in the ocean for you. The Stargazer fish may have a pleasant sounding name, but it's actually one freaky fish. 
The stargazer fish is at its most horrifying when it's doing absolutely nothing at all. It buries itself in the sand, its ugly flat face peeking through the ocean floor in search of its next victim. This venomous fish lunges out of its hidey hole once it has spied its next meal, and feeds off of other fish, as well as crabs and pretty much anything it can get its jaws on. Certain types of stargazer fish have been known to use electric organs to shock their prey, as well as having lures on their body in order to trick victims into coming closer. These menacing fish live all over the world, so there is no escape from their camouflage traps. Imagine swimming past and seeing this haunting face staring up at you. Its unsettling look has even been compared to a horror movie monster, the Babadook. If you weren't already spooked enough, we definitely don't want to be gazing upon this fish anytime soon. Lizardfish Get ready to meet a creepy fish that will haunt your nightmares. This freaky fish will usually sit at a slight angle, propped up by its ventral fins, and wait for a passing fish to attack by surprise. They have mouths full of sharp teeth even on their tongues. Yes, that's right. This nightmare sea monster has fangs on its tongue. Thankfully, you'll probably never see one in person. Deep sea lizard fish are one of the world's deepest living apex predators and will not hesitate to eat anything they meet, including their own kind. Not only do they look creepy, but they are cannibals too, being well equipped to pursue and devour whole prey. It captures it by lunging forward in a sudden rapid burst, accompanied by a snap of its trap-like jaws. So just how deep do these ocean predators live? Scientists say they dwell at around 1,969 to 11,483 feet below the surface, in the midnight or aphotic zone. And no sunlight is able to penetrate such deep waters. The animals who live there must adapt to living in darkness. This sparse environment also means the deep sea lizardfish can't be picky when it comes to finding a mate. Deep sea lizardfish are hermaphrodites, meaning they can produce both male and female gametes at the same time. That way they are able to mate with any partner they come across, rather than having to potentially wait for one of the opposite sex. Yes, fish don't come much weirder than the lizard fish. Leatherfin Lump Sucker This strangely named fish is one of the most bizarre marine species you'll ever lay eyes upon. The Leatherfin Lump Sucker is a ball-like lumpy fish with a special sucker that enables them to stick onto the rocks. The sucker is made from the fused pelvic fins and is pretty effective against the breaking waves. They can also inflate themselves with water or air in a way similar to the puffer fishes as a further defense measure. For most of the year they live out below the low tide mark in fairly deep water, but return to rocky shores in spring to breed. Lump suckers are found in the cold waters of the Arctic, North Atlantic, and North Pacific Oceans, particularly off the coast of Iceland, and in European waters from Murmansk in Russia down to the Bay of Biscay off the coast of Bordeaux in France. They're also found around the Faroe Islands, Greenland, and off the parts of North American coast. And if you live in Iceland, there's a good chance you might have eaten one of these strange fish for your dinner. The male fish are considered a delicacy in Icelandic cuisine, however the female fish are said to taste disgusting. Their eggs are also eaten and are a popular kind of caviar, if you're into that kind of thing anyway. What do you guys think? Would you sit down with a knife and fork and tuck into this freaky looking fish? Wolffish. This gigantic fish is super rare, and that can only be a good thing because it's utterly petrifying. Yep, the Atlantic wolffish can grow up to 5 feet long and weigh around 50 pounds, and is found in the North Atlantic Ocean all the way down to the Mediterranean Sea. Their numbers have dropped dramatically over the last few decades and there is only a small amount left in our oceans. They have a long cylindrical body and resemble a giant eel. Except this eel has teeth. Yep, the wolffish has four to six fangs, like teeth that hang out the front of their mouths, with several rows of blunt teeth in their jaws. They use these crushing fangs to crunch down on crabs, lobsters, prawns, and other shellfish, and will even snap to a human given the chance. This now rare Atlantic wolffish also has a very unique way of coping with the icy cold waters they live in. Their bodies are filled with antifreeze. Yup, this amazing antifreeze keeps their blood moving fluidly in the frigid waters, so they can swim around terrorizing shellfish to their heart's content. What a life. Remora. If you think fish suck, wait until you see this next fish. 
The remora, a type of sucking fish, is able to attach itself firmly to other sea creatures, and then detach itself with ease and without harming the host. These abilities have intrigued researchers and caused a whole lot of fishermen to say, what on earth have we just caught? Yup, the remora is a mysterious fish, but a pretty cool one. The remora attaches itself to rays, sharks, turtles, whales, and other sea creatures, regardless of the texture of their skin or shell. The remora feeds on parasites and its host leftover food, all the while enjoying a free ride and protection from predators. This is all thanks to the powerful suction disc on its body. The disc is made up of stout, flexible membranes that can be raised and lowered to generate suction. By sliding backward, the remora can increase the suction, or it can release itself by swimming forward. Remoras sometimes attach to small boats, and have been seen attaching themselves to divers as well. They are commonly found attached to sharks, manta rays, whales, turtles, and dugongs. Hence their nicknames Shark Sucker and Whale Sucker. Some cultures even use remoras to catch turtles. A cord or rope is fastened to the remora's tail, and when a turtle is sighted, the fish is released from the boat. It usually heads directly for the turtle and fastens itself to the turtle's shell. And then both remora and turtle are hauled in. This practice has been reported throughout the Indian Ocean, especially from eastern Africa near Zanzibar and Mozambique and from northern Australia near Cape York and Torres Strait. For this reason, the remora is sometimes known as the fishing fish, using one fish to catch another fish. Now that's kinda genius. Frilled Shark This next beast might sound fancy, but it's actually the stuff of nightmares. If you think sharks look terrifying and eels creep you out, try imagining the two mixed together, and you will start to get an idea of what the freaky frilled shark looks like. Yep, this weird sea creature bears the official name Anguinius, which is Latin for consisting of snakes or snaky. This shark moves like a snake, slithering under the ocean and has red fringed gills across its throat, giving it its frilled appearance. If this eel-like creature wasn't already scary enough for you, you might be shocked to learn that the frilled shark has 25 rows of formidable prong-shaped teeth, and a total of 300 fangs that make light work of its prey. These strange shaped teeth make it impossible for any victim to escape, making the frilled shark a petrifying predator. The spooky shark lives in oceans all over the world, but don't worry, the frightening fish usually lives at depths of 390 to 4200 feet, so chances are you will never run into one. Halibut Next up, it's the not so humble halibut. Big rod caught halibut can weigh 90 pounds or more. Commercial deep sea trawlers have even caught halibut which weigh more than 250 pounds, and the biggest halibut in the ocean can even reach weights in excess of 700 pounds. That's one big fish. The halibut has sharp teeth and a large mouth and is best caught in the deep cold seas around northern Scotland, Orkneys, Shetland, and occasionally northern Ireland. The Atlantic halibut is the world's largest flatfish and the biggest one on record measured at a whopping 8 feet 7 inches. That's taller than a basketball player. The name halibut is derived from the words holy and butte, meaning flatfish, because of its popularity on Catholic holy days. Nowadays, you might know halibut best from eating the classic British dish, fish and chips. Halibut are predatory feeders that eat almost everything that swims in the sea and they can attain a lifespan of over 30 years. They spawn at depths of 600 to 1500 feet from November through March, and female halibut can release anywhere from a few thousand to four million eggs. That's a whole lot of brothers and sisters. Interestingly, when they are first hatched from the eggs, they can swim upright and have one eye on each side of their head, like all other species of fish. However, at about five weeks of age and one inch in length, one eye migrates over the top of the head so that both eyes are on the same side of the head. Bet you never knew that halibut had a moving eye before. You learn something new every day. Cuttlefish the cuttlefish is incredibly adept at blending in with its deep sea surroundings and can switch colors at will in order to camouflage with its environment. Yep, the cuttlefish is practically invisible. What makes this incredible ability even more remarkable is that they are actually colorblind and can't even see what shade it is that they should be changing into. Wow, now that's some skills. Scientists believe that cuttlefish are able to detect blurred reflections under the water and this is enough information for them to transform into any color of the rainbow. 
Now you see it, now you don't. The curious cuttlefish is a cephalopod and just like its octopus cousins. It often uses camouflage to blend in with its surroundings. What makes this color changing creature so fascinating is that it is actually colorblind and doesn't see in color like we do. In fact, the world is mostly black and white to a cuttlefish. Scientists believe that their sensitivity to the blurs of certain shades reflecting under the sea help them to understand and camouflage their surroundings. And that's not the only amazing and intelligent thing that the cuttlefish is capable of. A recent study showed that the cuttlefish can count better than human babies. A one-month-old cuttlefish was able to tell the difference between three shrimp and four shrimp, whereas one-year-old human babies are only able to tell the difference between one and two. Yep, cephalopods are so smart that it's almost scary. They even have three hearts, two of which are used to pump blood to the gills, and the third to circulate freshly oxygenated blood around the body. When it comes to alien creatures living on our planet, the cuttlefish has to be the closest thing we have to extraterrestrial species. Arctic Skate This rare species of fish, which lives both in temperate and frigid seas, is one weird-looking sea creature. Skates are pressed flat and well adapted to life on the seabed from one day when they hatch. As small fry out of egg capsules, the eggs can be up to 20 centimeters in length and take three years to hatch. Many species live in cold water, where life is slow-paced. Yep, the Arctic skate isn't afraid to get a bit chilly. It's a cartilaginous fish and a prehistoric life form that originated 400 million years ago, so no wonder it's so strange looking. It's literally ancient. The Arctic skate lives deep in the Arctic Ocean and waters around Canada and northern and northwestern Europe. In the northern Pacific Ocean and in waters surrounding Antarctica and New Zealand, this amazing fish grows to about one meter long, and it's gray-brown with large dark spots. Its underside is white with dark patterns, and it has thorns in line from back to near the end of its tail. The mysterious Arctic skate is one of the weirdest looking fish in the ocean, wouldn't you agree? Lancet Fish the long-snouted lancet fish has a very gruesome reputation, all thanks to the fact that they are known for cannibalizing their own species. Also known by their scientific name, Alpiosaurus ferox. This nocturnal predator can grow to be over six and a half feet and has a mouthful of enormous fangs that they use to tear up their victims, which in some cases can be other lancet fish. But these freaky fish really aren't fussy when it comes to their food. Studies have shown that ferox will swim as far as 6,000 feet under the sea in order to hunt their dinner. And Japanese scientists have found all manner of prey from various depths of the ocean inside the stomach of a lancet fish that washed up on the shore. Is there nothing that these sinister lancet fish won't devour? These fish are our new most feared ocean creature, and the only time we ever want to see one is from the safety of an aquarium. Let's face it, we don't think we'd want to bump into any of these marine creatures while swimming in the ocean, just when we thought it was safe to go back in the water. Which one of these terrifying monsters will haunt your nightmares? You can let us know what you think in the comment section below, and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you really enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.